Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can print the lowercase letters A to Z inside of Python. Now we're going to do this by using the ASCII codes to reference these letters. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange and it's basically just a numerical representation of all the characters on your keyboard. So whenever you type in a character on your keyboard, the computer actually understands it as a number and that number is what we call the ASCII code for that character. So we're going to start by actually finding what the ASCII codes are for the lowercase alphabet. Now I've already gone ahead and done this. I know that it's from 97, which is the letter A, all the way to 122, which is the letter Z. But if you don't know that, let me show you two ways you can find that out. So the first way is simply by going online. So you just go to Google and type in ASCII codes for lowercase letters. And here's a website that I pulled up and it shows you uh, all the ASCII codes for the letters A to Z. Another way you can find out is by using Python itself. So inside of Python, you can use the ordinal command to print out the numerical ASCII code for any given character. So let's see how to do that. I'm going to type in print the ordinal of the letter lowercase a. And while we're here, let's do the same thing for z so we can confirm that we have the correct range. So I'm going to say ord of z. And with any luck, once we execute that, we should see the correct range. Okay, so that's all good. Now what we need to do is we need to create a list inside of Python that stores all of these numbers for us. So we need a list that goes from 97 all the way to 122. To do that, we're going to create a empty list. I'm going to call this ASCII list. And I'm just going to initialize it as empty for now because we're going to be using a loop to put the numbers in here. So let's say for number in range 97 to 123. Notice that I'm going all the way up to 123, which is one more than what we need. And that's just the way range works. It's always going to stop at one less than the final number that we put in the range. Okay, and let's put a colon here. And what I want to do is I simply want to append the number to this list. So every time it goes through the loop, in every iteration, I just simply want it to add that number to my list. So I'm going to append number. Awesome. And of course, I want to see the result. So I'm going to print this out so we can see what it looks like. And there we go. That is the exact range that we are after. Okay, and the final step to retrieve the letters that all of these numbers represent, we just simply need to go backwards and we're going to be using the character command. So I'm going to create a new list to store the lowercase letters. I'm going to call it alpha list. Again, I'm going to initialize it empty. And now I'm going to use a loop to go through the previous list that we made and simply convert all the numbers to their uh, actual letter equivalents. So let's type in for number in ASCII list. Again, I'm going to append everything to a separate list. So I'm going to append the character version and here's the function chr. I just want the character version for the number inside of this iteration. And when it goes through the whole list, it should produce a list of lowercase letters for me. Let's check that it does it correctly. So alpha list. And if we're lucky, again, we should see all the letters of the lowercase alphabet. Awesome. Now, believe this or not, everything we've done in the previous two cells, we can actually do in a single line of Python code. And this is how a professional might approach this problem. We know that we want to print out the final result. So we're going to start with a print command. And we know that what we're actually going to be printing is a Python list. And because a Python list is normally inside of square brackets, we're going to create a pair of square brackets. And what do I want to print? Well, I want to print out the character representation of certain numbers. But now I need to tell Python what numbers these are going to be exactly. So for that, we're going to use a for loop. And I'm going to say for num in range. And this is exactly the same range that we had previously, 97 to 123. So let's just recap what this means. We're telling Python to go inside of range 97 to 123. And every time it picks up a number, simply convert that number to its letter equivalent and then print it out for us inside of a list. So let's see what that looks like. And there you go. That is exactly the same result, but in a single line of Python code.
All right, thank you very much for watching. And of course, as always, be sure to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.